as we embark on an epic journey into Rondo. Hollywood Bob finds his victim flying into the factory. He is in hot pursuit. Will he be able to punch him out or will he overcome and take down the Bobster? We will be spectating this game to see how the NA community is playing solos on this epic Friday. Stay tuned for all that action and more live on the Bob Show. Rated R. This guy's wild, Chad. He's wild and crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, this guy kicked my ass. Who is this? Nobody's safe. Oh my gosh, not even me. Nobody's safe. Big respect. Dropped in, went right for the punch. Loved it. Chad, I loved that. All right, so nobody's safe. Dropping into the factory. We we ended up not going actually to the factory. We're kind of near the test track, but that's okay. Based on what you've seen, okay? Based on what you've seen and kind of how he's moving, his looting, what do you think the chances are that nobody's safe takes home the dubular? Huh? A solid 3%? Well, well here's the thing, chat. He's already in the top 73%, but he's QBZ K9. Let's see, he is towards the center zone. So, you know, how true is he to the land loot and survive philosophy, right? Hide, 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 right? And he's doing it, he's doing it. Yeah, Boston Ryan, I got my name Hollywood Bob. It was actually a nickname given to me at my old job. And I thought, oh, that'd be a good Twitch handle. Not even just a Twitch handle, just a gamer tag, my gamer handle. So I started playing as Hollywood Bob and then I started streaming. But I was actually Hollywood Bob before even streaming, so. Zone shifted and he's dead smack dab in the center. Let's see the the odds of winning have just risen for nobody safe. One day we were in a meeting and yeah, I, I've always worn Oakley Holbrooks. I, I love Oakley Holbrooks. So one day in a meeting or we, we had all the higher ups in the meeting. All the VPs and the president, CEO, all the managers and then like me. I got invited to all these meetings because I was the sales guy. So they wanted like input on what was going on with the customers. So I'm in this meeting and everyone is there and the president's talking and the HR manager gets a phone call and like answers the phone in the middle of this meeting. And I looked at him and I was like, look at this guy. Like, you know, his name was Frank. I was like, look at Frank over here, Hollywood, man answering his phone right in the middle of an important meeting and he gets off the phone and he looks at me and he goes i'm hollywood you're hollywood hollywood bob and then everybody started laughing they all started calling me hollywood bob so i was like i just had to own it right i just owned it and i was like okay yeah i'll be hollywood bob whatever so people at work would call me hb all the time they'd be like yo what's up hb and i was like you know this is a pretty sweet gamer tag i'm gonna use that and here we are <laughs> All right, he is now outside the zone, chat. Well, he's barely outside. Nobody's safe. He's holding down the fort still. It's a. It's gonna be time to leave. He's gonna run it on foot, chat. I think he's gonna, he heard someone in this building. Chat, there is someone in this building right here. They might turn and burn him. How did they not come out and just shoot him in the back? You know, I didn't really tell many people about the stream. I started telling people about it as I was about to leave, okay? Because, I don't know, I didn't want people going to the stream while I was at my job. I mean, like I said, it was a decently high profile job where I would go to engine OEMs around the world, GE, Pratt & Whitney, Rolls Royce, you know, all the revenue sharing partners with them and work to get deals in aerospace so that we could manufacture parts for them. You know, some of these deals, like I think the biggest deal that I ever closed, I closed a deal that was worth like $240 million. 
and you know the reality is that if they realize the person that they were dealing with is this guy online hollywood bob who like is doing a bunch of shenanigans on the internet right like i'd have got fired but yeah so i while i was doing all that right you know i was doing this as a hobby just because it was fun because i like playing video games i was a nerd you know i still am a nerd and i liked oakley holbrooks and so i decided hey in order to have any kind of deniability, I'm going to wear shades while I stream. So then if someone, for whatever reason, says, hey, I, I recognize you. You're from here. I'd be like, no, no, that's not me. That's not me. And then the sunglasses just kind of stuck with the stream. And here we are. Nobody's safe. Car approaching, driving by. Does he take a shot? Yes, he does. But it's way behind the car. You got to aim a little bit forward. That one looked a little better. All right. Nice. So, the other funny thing is that, you know how I always talk, chat about living on the Bob budget? I'm like, oh yeah, I can't do this because I'm on the Bob budget, right? Someone on YouTube, I saw their comment, and hey, if this is, this is going up on YouTube and you're going to see it, I hope you do. They go, in one breath, Bob says, Bob lives on the Bob budget. He can't afford to do, play, uh, he can't afford to play golf because it's expensive. He goes, and then in the same breath, Bob says, I've been to Sweden, Norway, uh, UK, Germany, you know, France, Italy, all those places, Poland. Guess what, dude? There's a big difference. The company paid for me to go there. That's why I'm lucky. I got super lucky. The company paid for me to do all that because I had to go see all my customers. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm living on the Bob budget, baby. How'd I get such a cool job? You wouldn't believe it if I told you. I literally found it at being advertised in a newspaper. He's gonna get up on the car on top of the hill. There's a car behind you. I was a halo guy. The car's right in front of you, nobody's safe. There he is. Oh, he takes a shot, he missed him. He takes another shot. Oh my gosh, this guy's going for the crate. There's a guy at the crate, chat. He, he blasted a hole in the ground. looks behind him he sees this guy at the tree he oh he i thought i saw that in the feet i thought he got him this guy's gonna be in the blue nobody's safe just playing the blue he's getting ripped to the side take refuge the blue zone is engulfing this guy he needs to move this guy is just sitting in the blue chat nobody's safe getting pulled up from behind gonna pop a first aid does he get smushed Spraying at that car, it's about to blow. I think the guy got out. Billy Baru slapped outside in the blue. Nobody's safe. Oh my gosh, saved by the guy on the bridge. He's not metting. Dude, I'm so scared for this guy. He's in the top 12. Uh, I did not play Halo because I was not a console guy. I was a PC guy since Diablo 1. Here he is. Nobody saved him. Blasted from behind. Hit twice from the guy with an SKS at the bridge. He's bandaging his wounds. He doesn't have any first aids left. Nobody safe. Just totally ignoring this guy. Shooting him in the back. Just full focus on someone else. He can't land the shot. The guy's going to sit to heal and he's going to capitalize on that. His bullet went through his head. I'm just as shocked as you. And after just totally ignoring the guy behind him, he gets eliminated. Made it to the top six, but XXAXXW takes him down from behind. Just remember this, chat. You, you can't tunnel on people that aren't even aware of your existence. If someone's shooting at you, you need to eliminate that threat. Okay? Why I wear the sunglasses. Now they're a part of the stream, so you can't. I can't just, like, abandon it, right? We have a goal. We have a goal to get rid of them. But, yeah. Right in front of you, bro. Right front of you, bro. Oh, okay. You didn't hear him. Race Paradise takes him out. It's a 1v1. Race Paradise is a gamer. He's over level 500. He sees him. This should be the game for him. 
He should take him out. He's got two hits on him. He goes prone. This is it, boys. He couldn't seal the deal. He's at the tree healing. He's out of the zone, though, Chad. Race paradise. Just wrap around and get a little angle. There he is, baby. Just tagging him up. Laying prone like that, healing behind the tree, Chad, is a tough move because I like to be crouched. And Hugo with the big blast. Surprise! Oh my gosh. That was intense.